Why you should download Valorant? Many gamers heard of Valorant at least a couple times in 2020, and I was one of them. I got addicted to the game in a few days, and I still play it almost every day today. This whole video is my opinion, so if you're thinking of downloading Valorant, this is that video. So if you're on PC, I highly recommend you download Valorant because it's free and doesn't require that much PC storage or power. But the real reason is because it's just so fun and unique that I can play for hours and hours. So first of all, are the agents and their abilities. If you like pushing in first and carrying your team, you can play a duelist. If you like playing passive and camping, you can play a sentinel. Valorant allows players to choose what role players want to play. All agents have three main abilities and their ultimate. This gives the game a lot of variety and it's really what differs it from CSGO. I would say it's the perfect mix of CSGO and Overwatch because aim is vital to getting good but ability usage is also a key aspect to winning gunfights. I would get so bored in CSGO when other players would simply out aim me due to me not having any experience prior to playing it. Although you can just get away with aim by using abilities and spraying like in Fortnite, you would have to focus more on aiming if you want to become a better player. For example, counter strafing and burst firing will have a big impact on your aim, whereas in CSGO, you will die under all circumstances if you don't know how to perfectly aim like that. Valorant was made for new players and experienced players. This is why so many CSGO pros are switching to Valorant like Scream or Hiko. While bringing so many new players who don't even know what crosshair placement is. Valorant brought players from many games from Fortnite to Apex because those games were getting hella boring anyways and built a whole new community due to them having a variety of fun and skill. Speaking of the community, it's huge right now when it comes to esports, competitive, or just normal play and trolling. In fact, a week ago, Valorant had its biggest tournament, First Strike, and it was so fun watching Ninja and Myth go back at each other to see which team was better. I'm sure there will be way more fun experiences to come in this game. Another reason you should play Valorant is its longevity. League of Legends has been around for more than a decade and Valorant isn't going anywhere considering the fact that it's Riot's first FPS shooter and its second most popular game right behind League of Legends. Riot's incredible responsiveness with their community often doing Q&A's about bugs and balance changes is also a reason why they're so good at communicating. They release new updates multiple times a month and a new act every couple of months which they add a new agent to. The meta changes a lot and even casual players talk about what agents are the best in the meta right now. Like when Sage was nerfed, a ton of players when I queue up say don't play her, don't play her. Some even got toxic. Valorant can also be very funny too. The casual community will always say something in all chat whenever something unusual happens. Surprisingly, many players have mics in the competitive mode. Every time I queue up, there's always at least 3 or 4 players with mics. This surprised me a lot because back when I was playing full modes in Fortnite, no one had mics or a very small chance. If they did, it would be like a 9 year old screaming louder than a truck. In conclusion, Valorant is definitely worth downloading if you have even a slow PC. It's extremely fun with all the abilities and agents, the aiming mechanics, and all around wonderful community. Riot is planning to also reach more players by creating a console and mobile version, but I doubt that it will be as advanced as PC. Fortnite and COD can get away with it though because it doesn't punish you as much for bad movement or aim. What do you think about this topic? If you want to learn more about gaming, or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly, and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.